The thought of a recession might spark fear, especially when considering the fact that your investments can potentially lose a large percentage of their value. Economic cycles are nothing new, and being prepared for them will allow you to insulate yourself from unproductive emotional reaction. As much as we would like to think that the market is going to be stable and grow at a constant, steady pace forever, that's never been the case, so it's unlikely that it's going to happen in the future. The markets are going to have their rough spots and their streaks of excellent returns. Considering what actions to take before a down cycle hits will save money and worry in the long run. In fact, savvy investors have the potential to make far more money than those who do nothing during poor market conditions. If you enjoy videos about money, personal finance, and investing, all topics that will help you better your financial future, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification icon to be notified of new videos. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. The first thing you want to do when getting ready for a potential recession is revisit your investments. Inevitable changes in the economic situation of the country can be unsettling for everyone. All-time highs of the stock market and rapid rises in real estate values are good things, but it's the savvy investor who takes note of these cycles. Are we nearing a slowdown and are we prepared for it? How do these normal swings in key economic indicators affect us in the long term? It's always important to make sure your investments are in line with your goals, but it might help to more carefully evaluate your plans as the market hovers around all-time highs. With stocks 10 years into a bull market, we can reasonably expect fluctuations and adjustments in the near future. If your investments do align with your goals, there's no need to make any changes at this time. Experts will tell you that while a market drop might seem like an immediate loss to your retirement accounts, investors should see this as a chance to buy lower priced stocks at discounted prices. Rather than see an economic downturn as a time to sell, Think of it as a possible opportunity to buy stocks, real estate, and other assets at a discount. If you own rental property, consider your plans if the real estate market were to crash. Maybe you're tired of being a landlord, your retirement plans of living abroad within the coming years wouldn't be landlord friendly, and you would want to sell the property in the near term. If that's the case, it might be time to call your real estate agent and get the property listed in case something drastic happens. If the housing market crashes, banks are foreclosing on homes left and right and the home value drops by 50%, waiting could be a poor strategy for someone who would rather be out of the game entirely. If you're happy holding the property over the long term and enduring any market downturns and fluctuations, there's probably no need to change anything. Consider also that when the housing market is in turmoil, rents tend to hold steady or even increase with many rentals. People can lose homes to foreclosure, there are fewer home buyers, and people can't afford to purchase, adding credibility to this statement. It's important to identify your short-term goals in order to properly assess what should be done next. The main thing to consider when evaluating your investments in turbulent markets is how soon you'll be needing the money. Are you getting ready to retire within a couple of years, or are you young enough that a market downturn won't have any effect on your day-to-day -day life? When most investors buy individual stocks and funds, they should be prepared to hold the assets over the long term, usually five or more years. If you have money invested that you're going to need to fund your children's college tuition or a down payment on a house, it's probably time to sell and set the cash aside. If you're not prepared to see your investments halved in value and then wait for them to recover, you probably shouldn't hold them. For investments with a time horizon of five years or less, consider buying fixed income investments like bonds and consider adding more to a high yield savings account. Three to six months of expenses is standard practice for a cash emergency fund, but some people are more comfortable increasing that amount, particularly late in a market cycle. While the returns of those types of investments are lower, there's no need to worry about those investments losing 30, 40, or 50% of their value. Assuming you've executed a financial plan, it's best not to make impulsive decisions based on predictions of a poor economy or sudden downturns. Sticking with the plan will leave you with the most money down the road if the market plummets. 
It's not necessarily a good idea to sell off all your stocks and other investments and park the cash in a savings account. Instead, hold on to your investments and wait for them to recover, assuming you have the time to wait and aren't planning on using that money in the near future. Investors who stay invested long enough for a recession to recover usually enjoy healthy returns for years after. The stock market has always recovered its losses over the years and risen to new highs. As the saying goes, history tends to repeat itself. The people who sold at the bottom of the Great Recession were only left with about half the money than what they had just before the downturn. These are the same emotional investors who take years to build up the courage to begin investing again at a time when values are high, which usually means the market is probably late in the cycle once again. On the other hand, the people who were able to continue buying investments before the market crash and when the market was dropping had the chance to buy assets for a deep discount, having faith that the market would recover its losses and then some, as it's done every time in history. When the market heads south, it's best not to panic. Smart investors aren't selling at a low. In fact, most are buying as they see a plethora of opportunities. If you're in a stable financial position, this can be an excellent opportunity to add to your investment or retirement portfolio. You could compare a stock market drop to a sale in your favorite steak. If your favorite cut of meat goes on sale, you might see this as an opportunity to purchase more at a discount. You would be gaining the opportunity to buy the same item for less money. This is how successful investors view bad times in the markets. In fact, Many investors have made the majority of their money by taking advantage of severely low-priced stocks and other assets. When the market finally recovers, it's common for investors to profit very handsomely. Smart investors don't use their emotions to sell or buy stock. They look for bargains during lows and sell during highs, giving careful valuation to their purchase. Timing the markets can be very difficult because it's impossible to know when the economy will hit rock bottom and how long the recovery is going to take. Also, market downturns happen very quickly and unpredictably. However, poor markets can be a great time to seek out opportunities. If you see stocks with proper fundamentals trading at a steep discount, the chances are it will be a solid investment. Also consider that when your index funds and ETFs are trading at a fraction of the price they were in the past, it's likely that the price is considered a discount. Keep this perspective, even if other retirement planners are having a nervous breakdown and selling off all their investments, thinking that the sky is falling and the world is ending. They might even ask if you're crazy for considering further investments during a market in turmoil, but the fact is, the investors who buy assets on sale are the ones who make the most money. Contributing a higher amount to your investments during a poor economy can often work out very well. If you're in the position to purchase investments during a poor economy, buying property on sale is a great way to invest in real estate. Rents often stay strong during poor economic cycles due to home sales remaining steady or falling. Most people just don't have as much money to make purchases or they don't feel confident about the future economy. In some cases, when the stock market falls, interest rates often are cut by the Federal Reserve, resulting in lower mortgage rates. This is often done to entice people to buy, but many people still choose not to due to looming fears. Combine that with a selection of lower priced properties and cash flowing deals will be much more plentiful. This creates more opportunity to purchase a property that cash flows, covering the monthly financial commitments and leaving the owner with money left over. Once the property regains its value, it can then be sold for a healthy return or held onto for years. Have you ever heard a story of a friend or acquaintance that had bought up property during a poor market and then rented it out for a few years? It usually increases in value, sometimes by an amazing amount, and is worth much more than what was originally paid. It's not uncommon for houses, apartments, and condos to sell for less than their replacement costs or the money it would require to rebuild the property. Vacation homes are often the first to be sold off, and this can create a buying opportunity for the savvy investor with enough foresight and access to funds. The vacation home in the mountains or on the coast is usually purchased when the economy is roaring along, 
and often sold when the market deflates, creating bargains for investors with the cash to act. Investors who prepare for these downturns by keeping sufficient access to capital on hand to scoop up real estate bargains are able to then sell the properties for a large profit when the market fully recovers. They might also have the option of renting them out for years and enjoying increasing rents and cash flow. While not everyone will be in the position to do so, or they might not have the confidence to do such a thing, these are some of the reasons why those who do have excellent potential. If you're nearing retirement and the fear of a recession is bothersome, consider that proper retirement planning has already taken an average recession into account. People who have a fully funded retirement portfolio that's properly allocated to the right investments should be able to absorb the impact of a market crash, assuming it will recover over time, because it's not a matter of if a recession will come, but a matter of when. If you're getting ready to retire and a sudden market downturn would mean you're living on the streets or moving in with your children and grandchildren, you're probably better off staying on the job for a few more years in increasing your nest egg and passive income streams if possible. Also take into account the allocation of your portfolio in order to achieve your goals. Everyone's situation is different, but as you near retirement, more fixed income assets are generally recommended. Investing for the future is a long-term game. If the markets start to get rough, there's usually no need to panic and sell off your investments in order to limit potential losses, as that rarely ever works out over the long run. If the money you have invested won't be used for any expenses in the near future, the best thing is to keep investing and enjoy the fact that you can buy assets for a fraction of the cost. Consider market downturns as a way for you to buy stocks and real estate for a steep discount and be confident that the markets will recover as they've always done. If your time frame for investing is short, then consider selling volatile investments and keeping your money in more stable assets that you'll be happy holding for years to come.